with some more of some Horizon Forbidden West. It looks beautiful. Look at the gears. Look at the gears spinning on the horn. I. I, that's just something, that's a detail that I just did not see on Horizon Zero Dawn. I did not see that, and it looks beautiful. It's not the gears, it's like a little chainsaw on it, and it's spinning. That is dope. I don't know if I just didn't pay attention, but I did not see that on the horns in the other game. I actually could go and jump back over there and turn it on. He's going to attack me while my back is turned. He dirty. But we'll keep the silent gameplay going, and we'll, you know, keep going towards the main mission, I guess. These in my pack. The 
Sandal before the full last. And Karja Horn. Well, he's the Ipsos Rosal. That'll be fine. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply it in my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. Can we have a word? Savior, <laughs> tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Baron Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy, <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant that they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you can get those blasted gates open. <laughs> yeah. Guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. There's errand. That looks like he's had a few. Savior, I need your help. Don't embarrass yourself, soldier. Savior! Savior! For the love of God, Tano, give it a rest. No one is allowed past this point. Commander knows our orders. Apologies, Savior. I can't let you pass. Please, Savior. I'm just doing my job. Hello there. Savior. You're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse... They're here in the Daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? 
Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakh take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here. Meaning, someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting... different. Jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the Eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they heard me. The stranger took off, and Lorovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Larovic's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Larovic in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The meeting you witnessed, did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Gentlemen. Uh, that's our cue. <laughs> Taking the edge off? I don't think the end of the world's coming. I don't need silver for it. Now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So whatever you need, ask away. Have things been since I... your silent departure <laughs> yeah not bad vanguard's going strong helped the vod pick up the pieces after the battle with the eclipse i took a month to bury ursa in the claim but when i got back i got the assignment to babysit wadis on his way to the embassy i thought that'd be a cakewalk so of course things went sideways you got blindsided it wasn't your fault <laughs> Up more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest like you wanted. 
Uh, yeah, 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 we did. Just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. She would have put them all under the table. What do you know about the embassy? I oh, you know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> what do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. But no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I better get going. Right, you know, I have to do complicated Aloy things. Maybe just don't disappear completely this time. No promises. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is if you ever do need me. I know where to find you. Huh? Hopefully sober next time. Not don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Yes, sir. Why the long face, my boss? Wish you were heading up. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Baiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. 
<laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olven was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dwarf. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. Follow the complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, What's I ain't know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, Nozar. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. 
So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parlay or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here. As it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help. But I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink as decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. Just like that, guys, we're going to end this video here. I got a lot going on in my background, but thank you, thank you, guys. I appreciate you, I like you, I love you. Feel the same, like, 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 section, dislike, and dislike, section, like, comment section below. Also, don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you want to be a part of the DM and Facebook family and be notified when I drop all of my new videos. This is becoming very long. This is a long story, guys, but I thank you for being with me during this playthrough. A lot of my next videos are going to be silent videos, no intros, no outros, so just please stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, this is D Gamer Slow Mo. We'll see you in the next one.